pleasure that I introduce Russell Fike in his diabetic speech. Sorry, just kind of give me a second. I um, have a routine that I did superstitious. Like a Stevie Wonder song. <laughs> So hi, uh, I, I, I know it's been a long time since I got up and spoke to the group, but it's, it's just that, well, last time you guys, you, you didn't take me too seriously, it, well, it, it hurt, right here, it hit, a little bit here, <laughs> but this is supposed to be a substance abuse support group, and I am addicted to a substance, so here it goes. I. I'm a diabetic that's addicted to sugar. <laughs> okay, look, 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 look. I, 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 I know you guys don't take my problem that seriously. What, little Miss Heroin Addict, huh? You think you got it bad? Oh, pl 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 please! Don't even give me that crap about unsightly needle marks. I'm so shot up with insulin right now, it's not even funny! I need so much insulin, the doctors just kind of hooked a funnel up to my arm. I have a hole in my arm the size of a donut hole! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it's just that I get a little distracted when I think of sugary objects. I actually need so much insulin, the doctors gave me a special kind of insulin gun. I can set it from stun to kill. I do, of course, mean I'm going to kill the bad things inside of me. I mean, it's not like I'm going to kill any of you guys. Or am I? No, look, I'm just kidding. I just made a gun out of, out of my hand. I, I don't even own an insulin gun. It's, it's, it's just that sugar is everywhere you go, little miss heroin addict, huh? Not like you walk into a restaurant, hey, there's heroin on the table, but you're going to see sugar. Little Mr. Cocaine addict, huh? What, what, what? Not like you walk into the movie theaters, hey, man, you think I should buy some crack? Nah, dude, don't do it. Too expensive at the movie theaters. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to see things with sugar. Even if you make it past the concession stand, you're still not safe. You gotta sit down and watch a great big giant sugar-filled coke dance on the screen and go, Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat, except for the diabetic in row 18. <laughs> I mean, do you guys have any idea how tough it was being a diabetic kid growing up in Hershey, Pennsylvania? <laughs> the entire town smells like chocolate. Just the smell when you wake up in the morning is enough to put you into a diabetic coma. If that it wasn't enough, when my parents were growing up, when I was growing up, my parents owned the liquor store. We didn't always know I was diabetic. We didn't find out I was diabetic until I was about five years old. And when you're little, all you ever notice are the candy bars. My father used to let me have all the candy bars I wanted. He thought it was cute the way I began to twitch after <laughs> He actually confused these involuntary muscle movements for my Happy dance! <laughs> Everyone thought it was so cute that he actually made me the liquor store mascot. He just stuck me outside and let me twitch all night long. <laughs> now look, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but diabetic or not, there's something very wrong about a five-year-old being a liquor store mascot. <laughs> I mean, do people honestly drive along and think, oh, isn't that cute? Let's buy some Jack Daniels. <laughs> and I certainly hope not. Makes your regular life weren't bad enough. Don't even get me started on holidays. You ever noticed how every single holiday seems to have some kind of candy associated with it? Come on now. 